Good morning, everybody. Jessica Bush here from Tudor Doctor and Debbie Mann from Turn the Page LLC here for our first in a series of No Drama, No Trauma, Helping Our Kids Thrive in School. And what we're going to talk about today is basically managing expectations as we go back into face-to-face -face school. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what I've seen lately. And what I have seen when I talk to parents is that the kids are feeling really overwhelmed and a little bit disappointed uh, coming back to school with expectations of a lot more work. So they're used to being in online school. They're used to being hybrid back and forth. There weren't any tests. A lot of the times they weren't any midterms or finals and now there are. So they're feeling overwhelmed and they're feeling disappointed. And what are the underlying issues, Debbie, that come from these, these things that are going on? Yeah, so I'm seeing very similar, uh, Jessica. And you know, sometimes families will come in and say that they're upset or angry, the children are not doing their homework or not getting their work done. And mostly what I recommend to families, before we think about what to do about the behavior, think about why it occurs. So those underlying issues. Yep. So if you have concerns about your child's um, education and work habits, uh, school habits, think about what the underlying issues may be. So for example, if we think that the child simply doesn't find homework important and wants to be on video games, we might take a more behavioral approach. If we think that the child doesn't have the information, so many children lost knowledge and information. And they have some gaps. Right, didn't gain as much as we thought they would during COVID, then where can we get help for them? Is it a tutor? Is it a mentor? Is it a teacher that can provide those extra services? Many of the kids I'm seeing, it's not either of those things. So many of them are really stressed and anxious and worried, whether it's the adolescent worried now about college and, and they're not having the success they wanted, or the little kid who's now socially adapting to being back in school. So if we think of it as anxiety or stress, then it's about supporting them and finding supportive services like counselors, guidance counselors, mental health professionals. Right. And what we can, how can we support them at home as well? You know, really being sensitive, I think, to what their needs are and not necessarily pushing them. Um, and uh, what, what I've been talking about lately is helping them to be independent, to reach out to teachers if they need help mm -hmm. and to ask for help. Don't wait, because I, in the last week, have literally gotten calls. We have a test in two days or my mm -hmm. son needs help with physics and he has a big test on Friday. Mm -hmm. It's putting out a fire instead of planning. You know, and I think that's something also that that we need to be supportive of. Say it's okay if you need help. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I think that you know asking more questions versus jumping to assumptions and solutions is really key. So asking the child what they need, asking them what happened or why they didn't have the success that that you wanted or they wanted, I think would be really important. And maybe we can talk about. Um, reactive versus proactive in, in later talks that we have together. Yeah, I think that's our next topic. So everybody tune that's in. Good. Thanks, Debbie. Anybody yeah. have questions, just put them in the chat. Thanks. Have a good one.